Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen Friday. Today I have a video all about my favorite products of 2018. A lot of these are older products that didn't come out in 2018. And they're tried and true for the year. I mean, I love them. It's really just pretty much my favorites. Hopefully they're some of your favorites too. And if they're not, tell me in the comments below what are your favorites for 2019 and for 2018 for these categories. So let's get started. For primer this year, I've been really loving the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This primer is, I've been using this for probably like a years now, and it's a, real, it's a yellow based primer which is really good for my skin tone. I'm, as you can see, I have like a yellow base to my skin tone, so it really kind of smooths out everything. It really evens up my skin tone very well, which is why I like it so much. I really like this just because it goes well with a lot of foundations that I use that are a little bit more yellow based. So this is the primer of the year for 2018. Now for foundation, this was a hard one because I try so many foundations all the time, but I narrowed it down to my all-time two that I've used pretty much the whole year. The first one I think I used almost not almost every day, but every time I do makeup, I use it. It is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. Um, my color is, I think, C C5. Um, and this foundation is really great. I have the little mini size. It comes in a bigger size as well. But this foundation is awesome if you are somebody that loves light coverage, but can build it if you want to. And it's a liquid foundation, so you really have to shake this up really well when you want to use it. But it's it's very very thin and it's water based so I really like that for my skin I have dry skin um, well actually the combination right now but it it's really well it works really well with that type of skin type and I love it so much I love the travel kind of um, packaging it has well I think it's travel it's really great for that it's plastic it doesn't break but other than that I love it so much I can build it I can wear it light it smells really good too and it feels really lightweight on the skin and by all means you know if you wanted something full coverage this is this might not be the one for you but it can go a little bit fuller if you like more medium I would say if you really wanted to buff it in but this is a really awesome foundation and the other foundation that I use kind of in in junction with this one um, is the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. My color is Honey, but I think I can go a little lighter than this right now since it's winter. But this is a really great travel, again, friendly foundation. You just swipe it on and everything. It's really easy to blend as well. You can blend it with your fingers. You can blend with the sponge, a brush. And with this as well, it's the same thing. They're easy to put on. They're lightweight. And this one, I, I feel like I can double it, double it as a concealer sometimes. Um, or just put it in the areas where I would normally put concealer and this is great either way. I just love it so much and it's just so easy to to travel with. I mean, really awesome foundations if you really like that natural, very lightweight look. Now for concealer, this was a pretty easy one for me. So the concealer that I love this year is this one. This is the NARS radiant creamy concealer my color is ginger or medium two this concealer is amazing i love it so much it makes that it makes your skin look really smooth it's very easy to blend it's lightweight it's not like too harsh and too heavy so it just makes it very look very just natural i think not to like whoa you're wearing concealer although you can wear you know full coverage if you want to um, I would say it's like medium coverage, full coverage would be like Tarte Shape Tape, that's definitely full coverage, but this one's like a nice easy medium and there's so many colors that this comes in. It's just a really all around great concealer. Um, I just love it, love the packaging as well, it's easy to apply. Definitely try this out if you haven't already really great staple in your makeup kit. Now for a powder, this was such an easy choice for me. Um, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Oh boy. 
It's quite a long name, but it looks like this inside. My color is medium too. It comes in, I think, three colors right now. Um, but this powder is so nice on the skin. As you can see, it just really finishes everything. It's not too heavy as well. And it, it just, I know that's like really light. It looks really light for my skin tone, but it blends very well with it. Um, I use it mainly to set concealer and then over my T-zone. Um, I sometimes even bring this along with me as a compact to touch up if I needed to. I really love this powder, enjoying it all year round. Now for bronzer, this was a hard one because I don't normally wear bronzer all the time, but when I do, I always go to the same bronzer and it's by Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown. And this color is, the this one is called the Bronzing Powder in Golden Light 1. Looks like that in the pan and really pretty. I love this one as well. It's very lightweight. Again, matte bronzer, which I really like, so you don't have that all that shimmer. I think it's great for summer too. I wear it in the summertime sometimes if I'm not yet tanned, um, but m normally I wear this in the winter just to get that color back in. It doesn't cake up too. It doesn't look too much like you're Oompa Loompa or anything and they have a lot of colors in Bobbi Brown's bronzers as well so I really like that option but this is a really all-around great bronzer. Now for highlighter, I, this was hard because I love highlighter. I think I have way too many highlighters as it is but I love them so much but I had to choose just three. I know <laughs> you're saying what you should only choose one but I, I couldn't make up my mind because I love these so much. But the first highlighter that I want to talk about for 2018 is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light Highlighter. This is the color 40. And it's beautiful. This is such an amazing highlighter. Um, it's a liquid highlighter, so if you're not into the liquid types, this probably wouldn't be for you. It just captures that like light really, really well. And it's very glowy too, so I really like this one for liquid. This is the Beaming Blush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. The mineralized skin finishes by MAC um, that you use as highlighters are amazing, but this one I, I would have to say is the one that I've loved this year. I have used it quite a lot and it's still going strong. It's like this really pretty nice pink color and it's just very very nice on the skin it just pops again and then the cream highlighter that i love this is probably my all-time favorite highlighter ever but and i've used this for years years and years this is actually a new one it's also by mac again this is called hush cream color base this is Probably the best highlighter in general, um, I would say for me. I love it so much. I'm, I'm wearing it again today. And every time I, I wear it, it just pops really well. It captures light and it just looks very glossy on the skin. You know, it, it's just very pretty. I, I mean, it's you need to try this out. If you want to try any of these, I would definitely try out Hush and see if it looks good on your skin. I'm sure it will be because it's really pretty. For brows, this also was a hard one because I have tried so many great products this year for brows, but the ones that I really love this year are always the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Mine's broken, but that's okay. I've also been loving this year the Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow. This is in medium brown. It is a brow kind of cream looks like that or brow gel really pretty on the eyebrows too um i don't use it all the time it depends on what i'm doing but like kind of the all-time favorite for 2018 um is this one by nude sticks this is called the eyebrow stylus pencil and gel and this is the color oh ash brown sorry ash brown so it twists up like that. It's one of those kind of sharp angled uh, pencils and it's so easy to apply and it's like waxy. The texture is waxy so it really stays on the brows very well. But I also use the end of it too which is a brow gel. So I love, you know, versatility in products and you could travel with this too. It's easy peasy. And I should bring this along. I, you know, it's just easy to do. I've done it in the car. I know you're not supposed to do makeup in the car, but I've done it before as a passenger. And 
it's just easy to do very it looks really um, natural I think too it has that hint of gray in it or very like that ash to it so it looks really um, it's not like too harsh but it's also not too like warm as well For eyeshadow base the Mac prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base just love it so much I mean there's not much to say about it besides that it, it does what it does it primes and it also helps your eyeshadow stay on longer than um you know than like one hour and and for me that's really important because my i have um monoliths well hooded eyes i would say and so eyeshadow tends to crease really easily on me so this helps the longevity of it a, a lot more so for eyeshadow i actually do and i love monochromatic looks that look kind of the same you use the same product for multiple areas of your face so the eyeshadow that I use is actually a, the also the all-time favorite blush of 2018. It's also by Mac. I have a lot of Mac in this in this video, but um, it's by Mac. It's called Warm Soul. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush slash eyeshadow for me. I use it both uh, both ways. I mean, it's just very natural. It's kind of it's kind of like the color that I normally would blush, which is why I like it so much. Um, and then for the eyes, it just kind of stands out, makes it really um, just all around um, finished for me, I think. Um, I tend to not put too much in my crease because I want, I do have one, but it's like, you know, I'm hooded, so I don't really, you can't see it. It's, it's hiding once I open my eyes. So I just go for like an all over lid color, and that's really, you know, all for me. I mean, I'm good with that. So this color is just... It's just so pretty. I mean, look at that. It's just so, it's like a coralish, mm, brownish, mauve, peachy. It has all those colors that I gravitate towards for my skin tone. It just looks very natural. All time fave for sure, but definitely for 2018. Now, for mascara, I have Asian eyelashes. If you don't know what that is, it's just stick straight like this. I mean, you curl them and then just like, they go back up. So once I curl my eyelashes, I have to put something to hold that curl and it has to be waterproof, long lasting. And the mascara that does that is Erwin Make Long and Curl Mascara and it's super waterproof. When I say super waterproof, it's super waterproof. I mean, I've cried and stuff with this on, it does not smear at all. Everything else smears but this mascara stays. Um, what's cool about it is that it, it holds the curl. I mean, I. I normally, my lashes don't normally look like this, they're just just down for the count, you know. But this one just makes it really nice and bright and open and, you know, we flare it out and it just stays like that. I mean, there's, there's really no great, other great mascara that does that. I mean, I can't think of one. I've tried several of mascaras and all waterproof. This is the one. So last but not least are the lip products of 2018 and I've chosen three lip products and the first one is a lip pencil. It is by Makeup Forever. It is called 3C and this is the Aqua Lip pencils which are really good pencils. They stay on pretty well and this one's a very natural pencil. It goes with a lot of lip colors that I have already and I sometimes even wear it on its own and put a little bit of lip balm on top and it's really pretty. So as you can see it's very natural on my lips. It doesn't look like it's too much and then over that what I like to do is put on a lipstick that I've been pretty much using the whole year and it's this one right here. This is by Kat Von D. This is her Lolita lipstick and this is the Studded Kiss lipstick and I know Lolita first came out uh, through the Kat Von D line as a liquid lipstick which I love as well but this I tell you blows that away for me. I personally like this formula a lot more. Uh, it does stay on pretty well if I wear it over a lip pencil like Makeup Forever 3C which is pretty much the combination that I've been trying out for the whole year. And then when you rub your lips together the formula is very nice. It's very smooth and uh, comfortable and it stays on really well. And then over top that or even by itself I Love, love, love this lip gloss. It is by Clinique. Looks like that. And it's 
the Chubby Plump and Shine Liquid Lip Plumping Gloss. And this is the color Va 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 Violet. And then what I like to do with this, I wear this on its own quite a lot and it looks super glossy, but not too much to wear it's just all goop on your lips and sticky. And what I do with this is that I just put it right in the middle of my lips. See, it just adds that shine right in the middle. So when you're moving your head side to side, it just boom, captures the light. And if you don't like it that glossy, you can just take your finger and just pat it in. It just adds that juiciness, I think, to the lips. It makes it really like stand out and plumpy. So that's it for the favorite makeup products of 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Comment down below what's your favorite makeup products that you were using up in 2018. I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.